I'm starting to think this might have been a bad idea. Oh, what's up everyone? Well, we're on a rescue mission. There's been a crazy storm come through Arizona. We're just on the side of the highway right now. Just want to explain to you guys what's going on. I'm heading to the, back to the off-grid property. So, so I actually went to Canada for Christmas. Scary with the finger. Well, looks pretty similar to the property. White stuff everywhere. A little bit colder though. About nine minus 27 today. So, uh, but I think it's great because we got heaters in the cars. We got heaters in the houses. Hot coffee. But I just got back and there's a ton of snow at the property. There's so much on the tent. Um, I've got these this camera there that I've been getting these pictures. So we got to go there and rescue this tent and get all the snow off of it and uh, also hang out and live off grid again here. It's gonna be nighttime by the time we get up there and there's tons of snow on the ground. So I'm super excited, it's gonna be fun. Let's get up there and get this tent all cleared off, get the snow load off and uh, get back to living at, up at the off grid property. mountains have snow on them no way that's pretty gnarly I haven't seen snow on those mountains in a long time you guys there's gonna be so much snow at the property like I'm worried I'm honestly worried the reason I call this a rescue mission is because there's so much snow load on the tent that I'm worried it's collapsed already hey, this is what it looked like yesterday during the day and then this is what it looked like the day before that, right, where there's no snow at all. It's just completely dry. So it all came in just so fast. Again, just like it did a few weeks ago. We gotta get up there and shovel the, probably the most snow ever off of this tent. Also, I'm doing pretty great with my pinky and, uh, you know, filming. I was just filming that shot with it, eh? No big deal. All right, we're gonna fuel up because we don't have any gas, and we can't be getting in a situation like last time. So stoked gas is cheaper now. Since we're empty, we'll be filling up the full 36 gallons of fuel between my stock tank and my long range American fuel tank, ensuring that I won't get in a predicament like I did last time when I had two flat tires, a freshly broken finger, uh, not enough gas, not enough water, not enough food, not enough firewood. It was silly. But we're moving on from that. Making sure we're taking up gas. I love that long range fuel tank, man. One last meal we don't have to cook. Mm. A cheeseburger with tots from Sonic. There goes the sun, last of the sunset. This is so crazy. I haven't seen what the tent looks like since midnight last night. And it's been snowing all day at the property. I could literally show up and it's completely caved in and destroyed. I don't think that would happen, but it I could literally see the sag from the pictures and the camera's like 50 feet away. I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like. I don't think it'll, it, I really, really don't think it's gonna cave in or have anything catastrophic happen. Um, it could just be total, and I'm preparing myself for that mentally um, to sleep in the camper tonight. And now there's snow all over beside the highway. We're still an hour or so from the property. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, it's so muddy on this road. This is unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm starting to think this might have been a bad idea, especially doing this at night. Well, this is so muddy. I gotta get out and lock my hubs just in case I need four wheel drive all of a sudden. Um, and like I enter a mud pit. This is so muddy. Never ever seen it even close to this muddy. Like I can't, I'm getting cross rutted, it's so muddy. Do you hear that on the roof too? 
unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so snotty bad. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm I'm worried now. Alright, we got them locked up. It's so muddy. Like, oh my gosh. And this is just the start, like, we gotta go up in elevation a lot, so. Now we're in four wheel drive just in case we need it. Gosh, dude, this road is just the worst I've ever seen it. We've got about 20 miles to go on this road. We just saw a car slid off to the side, abandoned already. <laughs> right, it's turning to where it's going to be mostly snow and there won't be any more mud, which should be really good because the snow's not that deep. And the fresh powder on the way to the property we we'll, should get a lot of traction on. So this actually should be the worst part is this muddy road. But man, I'm like on edge driving in here. I mean, there's nobody out here um, other than whoever made these tracks, which is just a couple people. But <sighs> yeah, the, 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 the thought of not getting to the property and getting stuck out here is terrifying, honestly. I mean, I'll be fine, but, and I don't know why I'd get stuck truck's very capable but man it's gnarly <laughs> it's way gnarlier than it's ever been it's like not even close you know I'm slipping all over I almost went off the road like five times I think our turns coming up and it'll be interesting to see if there's any tracks on it or if we're gonna have to make the first tracks boy I am gonna be the first one making fresh tracks on this oh my god that's gnarly. Oh my gosh, that's, dude, you guys, that's deep. I'm the only one out here. No one else has driven out here. Scary. That's like super scary for me. Oh my gosh. There's just water underneath us. And yeah, you guys, I don't know. I just don't know if this was a good idea. We might be getting into something here. I sure hope not. I'm gonna go slower though. Cause yeah, there's no rush. Take a deep breath, Phil. <laughs> we'll be just fine. This is not much snow. We're on a Jeep with 40s. We're gonna be fine, dude. It's not much snow at all. It's just bogging us down, just like sand or anything would. <laughs> You like how I'm talking myself through this? Because yeah, I don't need to worry. Look at the animal tracks. It's the only people who've been here. The only thing that's been here, animals. This is a lot easier than driving the ruts, I must say, the fresh pow pow. It's crazy. Oh, did you see that bunny? That was sweet. Yeah, we are way out here. The road on the way in was gnarly. We almost slid off like five times. Clearly nobody's out here because it's fresh powder and we're just making our way cruising through. This is gnarly though. I wish I would have done this in the day and not at night. That was stupid. Just gotta take a deep breath. No, we'll be fine. We on Fodies, man. Oh, look at those animal tracks coming all the way in, going in there. So cool seeing the animal tracks in the snow. We do have to go up a good incline here. Whew. There's uh, rocks underneath. Here okay, we go. let's get it. You can hear like how bogged down I get. This is like how gnarly it just got. Jeez, the snow's just getting deeper because we're going further up the hill 
and closer to the property and up higher up the mountain where there's more shade and more snowfall. <sighs> we'll make it. We'll make it. Slow and steady. <laughs> oh, whoo! Made it to the front gate. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not worried we're gonna get there. This thing's a beast in the snow. But um, I just, from those shots I just got, I got out and walked around and I feel like this is more snow than we got before and it's been on the tent for 24 hours and I just hope everything's okay and the tent didn't collapse. We're about to find out. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, dude, wrong line, oh my gosh. I got a little too lax. I just slid off trail a little bit. My back left tire, my driver rear. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> yeah, this, this trail is like super duper rough. This is not a road at all. So, if there's anything I gotta be careful on, it's this, but I feel the most comfortable on this because it's our place and yeah, it's kind of funny how that works. Okay. Oh, nothing like fresh pow pow. Oh my gosh, we just had another moment of like, shut, 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 shut. All right, let's drive through our trees here. This is to our entrance and go really slow so that we don't slide into them. Oh, you guys, I'm so nervous. Look at how much is on the trees. Okay, we're about to find out. I feel like the trees are literally like so sagged compared to normal, maybe not. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm literally like fogging out coming up that. That's insanity. This looks so different. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. What's my tent look like? Uh, oh my gosh. It's so bad. It's still up, but it's so snow loaded. Oh, oh my gosh. That's so bad, you guys. I gotta get to work. Oh, holy fuck. Oh no. Oh no, I'm worried it did permanent damage. Okay, let's get to work. Holy shit. Holy crap, that's not good. <sighs> well, we got some work to do, and without giving it away, let me just say the Kodiak canvas tent handled this snow load amazing. We're going to talk more about that in the next video, so we'll see you then. Comment, let me know what you think about this trek out to the off-grid property. Hit the like and all the stuff. Really, the question is, are you down to mob.